All right, we are back with our survival series, and this is going to be Building 21. It is going to be mostly solo tips, but you're going to see that there really is no reason to go in solo. If these tips help in Building 21, make sure you hit that like and sub down below. So with that being said, let's hop in, show some gameplay and my tips for surviving in Building 21. All right, so here we are in Building 21. First thing I want to say, if you're playing this solo, Make sure you don't shoot the sh Shadow Company guys, just because they're going to help you. So you really need to make sure that you're not shooting these guys. Otherwise, it's going to make this a lot more difficult. Yeah, so these are the guys you want to kill. If you notice, the Coney guys have this little red bandana right here, and that's going to distinguish them from the Shadow Company guys. Alright, so we're talking about really bad spawns for Building 21. This is the worst spawn that you could possibly have as a solo. Because teams can spawn to the left and to the right. And you are basically trapped in the middle. So, what I usually do for this one is I just go hide because... What else am I going to do at this point? There's definitely people down here. Hiding can actually be a legitimate strategy in Building 21 if you're not comfortable with PvP, especially since a lot of these teams will stick together. So you're going to end up fighting one versus three, and that's not going to work. You have to be able to split these teams up. So as soon as you turn a corner and you see multiple people, there's no reason to try and take that fight because you're not going to win it. Even the best players, if they are trying to fight three people and the three people are stacked, they're probably going to lose. Don't be afraid to hide, take a break, get your bearings, figure out what's going on around you, you know, listen to the gunfire, hear if there's people around before you make another move. Basically, as a solo, you really want to play this slow and easy so that you don't get killed because nobody's going to pick you up if you get downed solo in Building 21. Since we just saw a clip of me getting downed by a bot and uh, having to self-revive, let's go ahead and talk about the importance of plates and self-revives in Building 21. You absolutely need to have these as a solo player, whether it's a revive pistol or a self-revive. I usually fill out my inventory full of plates, anything I can do so that I can have that edge and be able to stay alive because the bots are even worse than players in Building 21. This leads me to another gear related tip. Do not load in to building 21 like these guys. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Blue. You need to have a three plate before you go into building 21 because you're just gonna die super fast with one plate. So make sure you have a self revive, make sure you have a three plate, and load in with randoms. I know that randoms are not the best, but they will definitely help you kill bots, they will help you with players. If nothing else, they will let you know where players are by dying, and you know you can avoid that area and still continue to play solo if you so choose. You can find self-revives and other gear by going to these locked color-coded rooms. And the different rooms are green, blue, red, black, and they each have a card associated with them. I will link a video up above so that you can easily find where all of these locked locations are in Building 21. And all you need is to know where this locked door is, this green one that's down in the parking garage on the first floor. All right, I'm just going to quickly show you how easy it is to find all of the locked color-coded doors in Building 21 if you know where this green door is. This green door over here by C1, this is how you find all of the rooms very easily. So, actually, let's go to red first. Red, if you come back here to where C1 is. We're going to have to go for him. So, let me show you where red door is, and then we'll go for him. So, yeah, did you see how easy that was to find red door? Nice. 
very rudely interrupted by having to save them. Here's Red Door. Very easy to get to, just by knowing where that green door is. We're gonna go back to the green door now. So here's the green door. Now let's go over to Black. Black is gonna be straight across. Another one? Right over here. And here's Black. And then from there... Green door is still over there. Black door is over here. Blue door is literally right here. Like, very easy to find these doors once you know like where to go for them. So if you really needed loot, you definitely could loot this way. If you're in building 21 for Velikin, he is going to show up around four and a half minutes left until gas starts moving. So realistically, you don't have to push trying to figure out where he is until that point. Velikin is going to come to you, or it's going to go to this other team. Okay, let's see about going up. Yep, Velikin's upstairs. The trick to dealing with Velikin, if he does end up finding you, or if you find him, is to get as close to him as you possibly can, because those grenades are not going to do nearly as much damage if they're not exploding. So usually I will run right up on him and just take him out as quickly as I possibly can. But again, this is going to be much easier on a team. I would not recommend going into building 21 solo at all. Alright, so our goal this time for building 21 is to take out Velikin. And we're just going to kind of play a little slower. We're going to look around and listen. We do want to head up to third floor for Velikin though. Because two spawns are up here. Wait for Wilson to go by. We're gonna go down. We're actually gonna follow the Wilson. Wilson shooting at somebody down here. Wilson shooting at somebody on the other side. We need to keep that in mind. We can look and see where the Wilson is shooting to see where other players are. So kind of have an idea that they're on the other side there. Ooh. Waiting for Wilson to go a little further. Alright, let's move down this way. These bots are gonna be a pain. Okay, so we're on third floor. Right over here at this elevator, Velikin can spawn here. Wilson's shooting at me now. I'm just waiting for this Wilson to go. Yeah, this elevator, he can spawn at. To be careful and then if you go from the elevator if you're facing the elevator and go left okay so a couple of things with this fight first 
I've only downed and killed one. I know that these guys were fighting another team, so there's a potential for at least five people here. I have to think about it in terms of information. So there's no way I'm going to push into this hallway and possibly get killed because being a solo, if I die, that's it. Game over, I have to reload in. So I'm going to not be as aggressive as I would be. I'm going to take the kills that I can, but ultimately I'm not here for kills. I'm here to kill Velikin. So I'm just going to get myself into position to be able to back off and just finish with what I'm doing, let them go about doing whatever, and let the bots take care of them. Okay. Man. Keeping plates is the hardest thing to do here. Team is right up there. If you notice, I didn't stay. Like, the longer you stay in a spot trying to fight a team, the more of a chance you're gonna get flanked. That's why I didn't stay to fight that. I got the initial down and kill, but I just did not have the plates to stay there and fight that. I still don't necessarily have the plates to do that. I really need plates. Falcon is going to be coming out soon. There's another plate. I'll help. There's Falcon. Okay, they're fighting the Wilson right now. Let's go check Velikin's spawn over here. So Velikin could be right in front of me. Velikin is right in front of me. And there he is. Let's reload this. So see, that was one of Velikin's spawn points. These kids really want to kill me. We're going to go for Axfil though. That's going to be our goal right now. Reload this. Especially with having no plates. We really want to get to Axfil. Ooh, there's a bot. Yeah, these kids are really wanting to hunt me down. This is actually a really good uh, exfil back here. Need to be careful though, because we have no plates. Did I not pick up that plate? Oh, we're really not going to have plates. And now we wait. See if these guys come after us. I 
as you see, you don't have to be... Oh, I just barely got out of there. He was, they were, they were definitely coming for me. Don't be afraid of running away. That is the biggest thing for building 21.